How does a writer get an agent is the question that is most frequently asked in my class at UCLA Extension and has been over the past decade. And the answer is to write a great script that everybody wants. You see, agents don't exist per se as a support system for a screenwriter. The role of the agent is sort of the role of um, a, a, a business partner. That is, for their 10%, uh, their, their contribution of getting the work has to do with being the sales rep for the work. Managers have become really important uh, entities in a screenwriter's career, whereas they weren't as significant 20 years ago when I first started in the business. And I think that's because there is such pressure on agents to perform in deal-making ways that they cannot give you the kind of daily attention that a manager can. So an agent will read your script once maybe, offer a couple of notes, you know, up to the point where they think it's going to be saleable for them. Whereas a manager is going to be in constant touch with you. A manager is going to read every draft of what you do. A manager is going to keep their ear to the ground on who's looking for what and who needs what because their 24 hour a day kind of thing is all about you. Managers also typically have fewer clients because most management managers and then consequently management companies are smaller and easier to run than agencies. So the ratio of manager to client is smaller than the ratio of agent to client. You become more prioritized and essential in their world. As a writer in this age of branding, particularly early in your career, you need to be able to brand yourself. That is, if your first screenplay is, let's say, a horror film, and horror films are always good for uh, screenwriters who are starting out because they're relatively inexpensive to make and they appeal to a youth market, which is the biggest percentage of the market of return viewers to cinema. So what you have is a genre, like Kevin Williamson with Scream. Uh, the guy is capable of writing in a number of genres, and I'm sure very early in his career he had already percolated the idea of Dawson's Creek. But he understood the genre of horror so well that he wrote his first three screenplays in that genre, knowing that when somebody had a, uh, or I'm assuming that he knew, that when somebody wanted to pay for a horror movie or have somebody rewrite a horror movie, they went immediately to Kevin Williamson. That built his clout. Then everybody in the world wanted to be in the Kevin Williamson business. And that's the way that they talk in Hollywood. When they read a great script, they think, I want to be in the Steve Zalian business. I want to be in the Scott Frank business. And they do the same thing with celebrities, right? They want to be in the Tom Cruise business because Tom Cruise brings back repeated viewers. He is, Tom Cruise is a brand. Tom Hanks with their celebrity is a brand. You build your brand first. You build the things that become characterized as you and then you can grow from that.